Good afternoon, fellow reefers. This is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Well, as I promised, uh, the tank is on the stand. This is how it's going to look in the area that I'm going to uh, place the system, as you've noticed. Uh, I am going to talk a little briefly about uh, what actually is a low iron uh, glass and a little feature that I happened to run across that I noticed on the uh, screen top that it uh, has these uh, cuts at the end. Uh, I'm going to show you now what this is uh, all about. Okay, uh, here I have a close-up of the front panel, the glass panel, and when they say low iron, uh, this is what you should be looking at. On the side, it's crystal clear. Uh, the old um, terminology was uh, sapphire glass. This is what, what they're talking about when they say low iron. I want to see if I can bring it a little closer. You see how you can actually see through it? That's what low iron is all about. Now another feature that I was talking about previously is these cuts at the end of the uh, screen top. If you notice them, you see these, these little cuts? Okay, these cuts, these protrusions that they have, uh, they thought about everything when it came to Innovative Marine. Those cuts, I noticed they come on, on all the ends. If you notice here, the same thing. You see it back there? Okay, what this actually is, so the silicon uh, that keeps the glass together, of course, is, is going to be at the ends, as you notice here. So what this actually has is that if you decide to like bring this all the way to the front like I've, I've just done, it won't bother the silicon, it won't touch it, and nothing would happen to the actual glass uh, with the uh, screen top touching it or you removing and putting back and forth the actual screen. And these, of course, are the holders for the screen. This one and this one here, and, and then on the opposite uh, side, the same thing. Now that I've shown you basically uh, how it's going to look, uh, the area that I'm going to put it in, the thing about the uh, low iron, uh, I thought I'd give you a, a preview uh, what's going to go on with this tank. Uh, this aquarium, I'm going to do it different than the Apple Style 9, which I have it here on my, on my other part of the dining room. Uh, by saying different, uh, for instance, uh, when it comes to the circulation of water, this that you see here is the, the uh, return pump, that the stock return pump that it brings. I'm going to uh, replace that with a, a higher gallon per hour return pump. The rule of thumb is that when it comes to return pumps, it should be five or ten times uh, the gallonage, the, the gallons of water total. Uh, that the tank holds, in this case being 40, of course, it uh, would be either uh, 5 times or 10 times. 10 times being, of course, 400 gallons. This pump that it brings is rated at uh, 475. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change it to a pump that will be within the range of 5 or 6 or 700 uh, gallons per hour return rate. The more circulation you have, the better it will be for your uh, uh, reef system. Besides that, I'm planning to, to get on the small tank that I have. I have one MP10 here. I'll be getting two uh, MP10s. So that for now is like a little preview of what will be going on. I'm going to film each step as I go along. Uh, and like I always say, uh, I do want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I already have up to 21 subscribers. Thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, like I've said in, in the previous videos, this is a passionate that I have had of reef keeping for many, many years. And I thought I would relate that and, and enjoy it. Uh, I mean, each step and each tank that I have and each corals that I get with, uh, with all of you uh, 
fellow reefers at YouTube. And uh, again, you know, I'll, I'll stress it. I really don't know how much to stress it. Thank you very much for all the subscribers that have come on, on board. And like I always say, happy reefing. Thank you.